Pinhole photography is a simple way to make photographs. Uh, I like to make my cameras out of old tin boxes where you can tape it up so no light gets in and the only light that's getting in is through the tiny pinhole at the front. So that's technically your lens. This was a, a fudge tin and I've got others that were biscuit tins or chocolate tins or chicken spam tins, anything that, that's made out of metal that you can just sort of run your, your tape around the top and, and no light's getting in. Well, I was a photographer for about 10 years and I had never taken a pinhole photograph. So I thought I owed it to myself and the profession to actually take a, a pinhole photograph and understand the basics of photography. Well, I, I began with landscape because uh, with pinhole photography it's a very long exposure so the landscape doesn't change during that time and you get some nice sort of maybe movement of trees and movement of grasses and things like that but to, um, to photograph people it's a little bit harder but yeah it's just a, it's an easy and striking subject to deal with. So. so the way these cameras work is I open up the lid, I tape the film leader to this winder here, I then place it in inside the camera, I shut the lid, I tape it up with PVC tape, I wind this on probably about 10 winds just to get the film to where I need it, I then take this piece of tape off the pinhole to expose the image, the light goes through the pinhole onto the film, I then close that when it's had a long enough exposure and the image is done. The challenges are there's no viewfinder and basically you've just got to stand behind the, the camera and line it up basically where you think it would be. And if, if this camera is actually covering up the image that I've got, then I know that it's, it's lined up properly. So, Well, because pinhole photography gives that, that beautiful old style photograph look like you've just taken it, you know, in the 1930s, I like to find subjects that suit. So to, to take a photograph of a subject that, that still looks as old as what it did that sort of suits the, the type of photography that it is. Uh, this photography is far different from digital photography because this is, a, this is a really slow process and I like to call it slow photography. It um, takes a lot more time, it, it tests out every one of your skills as a photographer which I really enjoy and the images it creates is a really nice nostalgic beautiful old time image. The next challenge is to go onto humans and photographing humans and subtle movements there to tell a story within the photo.